Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Win Stuff. This week, we have on some of our friends from Limelight and WSOE. So welcome, y'all, and we are so happy to have you here on the show today. Before we get started, I'm just going to ask y'all to go down the line, introduce yourselves, tell me your name, your year, we'll do major, and then what your favorite genre, oh, well, who you're representing, and what your favorite genre of music is. So feel free to go. I am Colin. I'm a senior representing Limelight Records. I am a music production and recording arts major, and my favorite genre is uh, probably jazz currently. I'm also in a pop jazz sort of mood. I don't know if you know Sammy Ray and the Friends. I'm mm. seeing them next week. Um, it's my birthday thing, so <laughs> very excited. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, my name's Chrissy. I'm a junior. I'm a cinema and television arts major, and I'm a DJ at WSOE, and my favorite genre of music is psychedelic rock. All right, I'm Brian. I'm Brian Hunt. Um, I'm the treasurer at Limelight Records as well as an artist. Um, I'm a finance and business analytics major and I'm a senior. Favorite genre? Oh, favorite genre is definitely hip hop. All right, very nice. Well, we'll just go on ahead and get started, but for everybody at home, of course, we will explain the rules. So we have three categories, music, TV, movies. Collins, if you're closest to me, you'll get to go first. So feel free to pick any category and then we will play from there. Make sense? Yeah. Awesome. Colin, pick a question. All right, let's go with ah. <laughs> Which artist will host and be the musical guest on SNL on October 15th? Don't know if this will help, but eh. <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion. Correct. <laughs> oh wait, we're all allowed to answer? Yeah, yeah, everybody oh. can answer. So sorry. Yeah, okay. everybody can answer. Okay. Brian, <laughs> good for you. Take a question. I'm gonna do um, Ain't It Fun. Which rock band released their new song This Is Why on September 28th and announced their new album by the same name? Paramore. Correct. Um, the concert clips look amazing, and I'm very mad that I didn't get pre-sale. But, Brian, I'll do uh, Under the Sea. All right. Which actress is portraying Ariel in the 2023 live-action <sighs> Little Mermaid? Chrissy. Halle Berry. Correct. Uh, no, Halle Bailey. Halle Bailey. There Sorry. Correct. Halle Bailey. Correct. She got it. She <laughs> got Halle Bailey. Got a little excited. Was a good <laughs> my B, my B. I was just like, trying to get it out. It's okay. Pick again. Or pick a question. Big girls. Which artist recently won their first Emmy award? Lizzo? Chrissy, correct. Pick again. Mm, wedding bells. Okay. What is the name of the reality show that an Elon alum just won? Chrissy. The Bachelor. Et. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Pick again. Uh, on the street. Who wrote and stars in the new romantic comedy Bros? Try again. Oh, Chrissy. Billy Eichner. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Pick again. I knew that. Revenant. Um, Timothy Chalamet revealed that which actor gave him the advice, no hard drugs and no superhero movies? Colin. Leonardo DiCaprio. Correct. Pick again. Uh, talk less. Where, oh, which talk show host laid on the Emmy stage during Quinta Brunson's acceptance speech? Chrissy. Jamie Fallon. Incorrect. Cardi Levin. Incorrect. Jimmy Kimmel? Correct. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Pick again. Uh, one of them. Richmond FC. Which TV show character will be in the new FIFA 23 game? <laughs> Five seconds. I want to hit. All right. This character is played by Jason Sudeikis. Oh, Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso. Correct. <laughs> uh, pick again. Reality Royalty. Which Hulu original reality TV show recently returned for a second season? The D'Amelio Family? Incorrect. Do I get penalized for it? No. Sorry. Chrissy. The Kardashians? Correct. Pick again. Take a bow. Who was recently announced as the halftime performer for the 2023 Super Bowl? Chrissy. Rihanna! <laughs> Correct. Pick again. Don't start now. What pop star was photographed kissing Trevor Noah? Chrissy. Dua Lipa. Correct. And I am going to talk about this, okay? Because <laughs> tell me why he quit his job immediately. Immediately. And I'm so upset. I'm so sad. I'm literally heartbroken because I don't know The Daily Show much without, I mean, I do, but I don't know The Daily Show without Trevor Noah. I'm sad. I'm heartbroken. I'm devastated. I'm on the floor in tears. Um, Chrissy, pick again. <laughs> uh, Enchanted School. Name one of the stars in the upcoming Netflix film, The School for Good and Evil. There are so many options. Literally so many. Hint. Oh, can I? Yeah. yeah. One of the main actors is best known for Scandal, and another is best known for High School Musical, the musical, the series. Chrissy. Olivia Rodrigo. Incorrect. Um, Brian. Tr not Troy Bolton. Uh, Zach Efron. Incorrect. Damn. It's Chrissy. 
Um, Kerry Washington. Correct. <laughs> so we have, and get ready, Kerry Washington, Kate Blanchett, Sophia Wiley, Michelle Yeoh, Charlize Theron, Lawrence Fishburne, Sophia Ann Caruso, Ben Kingsley, Patti Lapone, Jamie, F Jamie Flatters, Kit Young, and Rachel Bloom. Um, so when I said there were a lot of options, I genuinely meant <laughs> the world was your oyster. <laughs> yeah. Because um, also, some of these didn't even know they were in the movie. And I've seen the trailer so many times. But um, Chrissy, take uh, again. Brunette. What is the title of the new Netflix biopic about Marilyn Monroe's life starring Ana de Armas? Chrissy. Blondie. Uh, Blonde. Correct. Um, vile. I've never seen a movie that hates this subject more. I didn't see it. But it's just that it's really bad. Um, sorry to any Netflix producers that are watching this. Or Ana de Armas if you're watching this. Ooh. But... <laughs> No, she, you know what you did. You know what you did. You know what you did. <laughs> I just, it, the clips I've seen on Twitter are very, como se dice, silly, goofy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> see, pick again. <laughs> Misery. Um, which band just announced their Las Vegas residency amid controversy over the lead singer's personal life? Chrissy. Maroon 5. Correct. Um, what a crazy time with all these cheating men. But Chrissy, pick again. Is it, it anything new? Mm, no. It's the Mercury <laughs> Retrograde. I said it last week. I'll say it again. Oh, Mercury Retrograde. Valid, valid. Red light. What Netflix show is getting a reality competition spinoff? Colin. Squid Game. Correct. And it feels what? like it really missed the point. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> like they missed the point of the entire show because wasn't it that it was bad that yeah. they were doing this? Yeah. Co you you would think? Fuck. Um, yeah, crazy. Crazy times. But Colin. Pick again. And a movie. <laughs> Which net sitcom announced they will release a movie next year after having six seasons of their show? <laughs> this show takes place in a community college. Oh, um, community. Brian, correct. Um, yeah, six seasons in a movie. They did it. They finally did it. Took them a while, but they got there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian, Keeping pick up. again. Keeping up. Okay. Um, who did Kanye West change his Instagram profile picture to? Pete Davidson. Uh, incorrect. Colin? Kim Kardashian? Incorrect. Chrissy? Donda. <laughs> incorrect. Can I go again? I'll yes, guess. you can. Kid Cudi? Incorrect. Damn. We have strayed further. <laughs> Colin? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no. no I'm sorry. Incorrect. No. Um, you're gonna laugh when you hear who it is now. Chris Jenner. Correct. <laughs> oh. Yes. Chris Jenner and Jesus. Oh yeah. <laughs> close. Close. So similar. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> same Chris space. They occupy the same space. No, they they do. I mean, I'm telling, like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> Chrissy, pick again. Um, War Machine. Which upcoming Marvel show was announced to be changed into a movie? I'm going to call it. It is Armor Wars starring John Don Cheadle, excuse me. And with that, we are going to take a quick break. Colin with three, Chrissy with 12, and Brian with three. And we'll be right back with War of Round One. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this episode with our friends from Limelight and WSOE. We're just going to keep going with more of Round One. So, Chrissy, I believe you got the last question correct. So, pick again. Father Time. Which artist just performed for the season 48 premiere of SNL? I'll use a hint. All right. He is known for his songs Humble, DNA, and Money Feast. Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Lamar. See? I'm going to give it to Colin because he buzzed first. <laughs> so, yeah, wait for me to give it to someone, but Colin, pick again. Gangsta's Paradise. Which rapper recently passed away at the age of 59? Chrissy. Coolio. Correct. Uh, pick a again. There. Rest in peace. Rest in power. Oh, her. Um, beer guest. Which singer will be playing Belle in ABC's live action animated Beauty and the Beast 30th anniversary special? I'll use a hint. Okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Doja Cat. Incorrect. What? I know. I'm sorry. Colin? Lady Gaga? Incorrect. Nicki Brian? Minaj? No. Incorrect. Um, anybody have any other guesses? Lady 
share. Incorrect. I'm going to call it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> that audio, uh, mm -hmm. you know, well, maybe, maybe not all of us know it, but it is a popular TikTok audio. <laughs> not on TikTok. It's okay. Just gotta. Mm. This is more more reason for you to hop on the bandwagon, so you can win win stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Colin, you got the last question before that, correct? Did I? I yeah. think you did. Sure. <laughs> the X good. Man. Okay. Which character was revealed to return to the big screen in the third Deadpool movie, Colin? Wolverine. Correct. And pick again. Cheesin. <laughs> Which new horror movie has marketed baseball games by having people in the crowd grinning menacingly at the cameras? Smile. Ryan, correct. I can't watch that movie. I'm so serious. I, I refuse. I just feel like it's too, uh, too anxiety inducing, but also I saw someone tweet that they saw it and then they were like, if anybody smiles at me in public, I'm running. And I was oh. like, ah, <laughs> I live in the South. That is not an option. <laughs> but Brian, pick again. Uh, Queen of Christmas. Okay. Which singer-songwriter revealed she is working on a new album? Colin. Mariah Carey. Correct. Pick again. I knew that. Night I didn't changes. know she had a new album. Who was the first member of One Direction to seek a solo career? Try again. Colin. Harry Styles. Incorrect. Chrissy. Zayn. Correct. Do you not remember this horrifying Hello, day in Literally. 2015? He doesn't know the pain. That's why he said that. I actually don't know the pain either. I just remember passively seeing the pain walking down the halls, being in my, I'm not like other girls phase. So uh, I dodged a bullet. <laughs> but with that, that is the end of our music category to the surprise of no one. So we will keep on going oh, with nice. TV <laughs> and movies. <laughs> uh, whistle down. Okay. Which Bridgerton actor was cast as Fiero in the new Wicked movie adaptations? Y'all. Okay. He played Anthony Bridgerton. Y'all. I don't watch Bridgerton. <laughs> Me neither. I don't, I don't have Netflix. I'm broke. Fair enough. I still use my mom's. <laughs> Shout out to you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Okay. It is Jonathan Bailey. You're missing out. He is a wonderful singer, wonderful actor. <laughs> also watched season, season two of Bridgerton. Week in the knees. <laughs> crazy. It was just a crazy time. Like, truly, I was like, wow, this is content that we are being served. Um, yeah, there's a famous Twitter clip though, of, or um, clip on Twitter where he's singing a very toxic song, but every time I see it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's Fiero right there. <laughs> um, who got the last question right? I think, think, yeah. think Brian. Sounds about right. I said, I said whistle talk, right? Whistle yeah, you said, I think you like no, was it that yeah. one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Chrissy, pick up. Uh, uh, Ken. Okay. Which famous actor recently became the new face of Gucci? Chrissy? Ryan Gosling. Correct. Pick again. Tate Maximoff. Who portrays Jeffrey Dahmer in the new Ryan Murphy produced biopic about the serial killer's life? I don't know who buzzed. Chrissy. Evan Peters. Correct. Pick again. House guests. What popular reality competition series just crowned its first black female winner at the end of its 24th season? Not chronically online, I see. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. I'll call it. It is Big Brother. And with that, that is the end of round one. Colin with six, Chrissy with 16, and Brian with four. And we'll be right back after this short break with round two. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our game of Win Stuff today with our friends from Limelight and WSOE. Before we get started with our second round, just some clarification things. Chrissy said you had the most amount of points coming out of round one. You got an extra hint token, so congratulations. Brian, for this round, you will get to go first. But before that, I'm also going to just ask y'all, what's your favorite memory in your org? So, Brian, I'm going to start with you and go this way. Um, just getting be to be able, excuse me. Being able to perform and also um, seeing other people achieve whatever they want to artistically is a huge <laughs> part of why I love doing what I do. Chrissy? <clears throat> um, I've DJed Move In the past couple of years and that's been a really fun time. Like seeing like the new people and getting to like make their day exciting and stuff. Awesome. And Uh Our, our uh, showcase last year was a blast because my buddies did a little feature at the end of it tagged Mama Bigfoot, which was a very big <laughs> performance, and it really captivated me. Very nice. Awesome. Well, I'm so happy to hear all of that, and we will keep going with our game. So, Brian, again, since you have the least amount of points coming out of round one, you'll get to go first. We have connections. I'll give you two names. 
Yeah. And you'll tell me what connects them. One liners, I'll give you a quote. You tell me who said it and where it's from. Make sense? Yep, absolutely. Awesome. All right, I'll do connection. All right. Jamie Lynn Spears and Victoria Justice. Chrissy. Zoe 101. Correct. Pick again. One liner. Three words, eight letters. Say it and I'm yours. Five seconds. Uh, okay. Um, you know you love me. XO, XO. Gossip. Hey. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Gossip Girl? <laughs> Give it to Hey Needs It. Well, so you get the one point for it, but okay. can I get a who? A, right? Um, no, that is Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> Dang. Um, <laughs> I would also need more clarification on which A, because there are many of them. Lots of A's. Um, but you still get the one point. Does anybody know who? Serena Vanderwoodson? Incorrect. Blair? Well, Correct. Right. It is Blair. And so since, um, Brian, you got that first point, I'm going to let you pick again. One liner. Liner. Okay. F-R-E-K. On a movie, I should be on replay. Chrissy? Nicki Minaj? Correct. Super freaky girl. I'm going to give it to you. It says remix, but... Roman remix? Not the, it doesn't specify the Roman remix, it just says remix. Okay. But I'm still going to give it to you anyways. Thank you. So pick again. Um, connection. Um, Jacob Ellerty and Austin Butler. Colin? Elvis? Okay. <laughs> so specifically, <laughs> what about Elvis? <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> I'll give it to you because you've hit it. You j it's just not specific. Yeah. <laughs> what you're saying. So like... Elvis they Presley. played Elvis? There you go. They, did, they both play Elvis um, at one point or another. So, um, I knew that. And they also both dated Kaya Gerber. That's what I was going to say after. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also knew this information coming into this game. <laughs> no, but Colin, pick again. Uh, connection. Chrissy. They both <laughs> cheated on their wives. Correct. <laughs> and y'all. Let me tell you, we did peaches and pits in my, um, at my job the other day for like our like icebreaker. And I was like, I'm so serious. Unironically, my pit is that Ned Fulmer cheated on Ariel. And like, it sucked because I was a big Try Guys fan. Mm -hmm. I have a signed book from them and everything. And it oh, really just, oh, exactly. You were a fan. I am a fan. <laughs> and it killed my vibe for the entire day. But last night, they released their What Happened mm -hmm. video and the gasp, I gust. I was literally <laughs> sitting there for five minutes and 30 seconds. And I was like, no one say a word. Silence from the entire audience. I need to know what is going on. But you, honestly, really great apology video. The apology. look on Eugene's face. <sighs> you know, Murder you know hit. stuff went down when, they, when he found out. You oh, I'm, know. I'm almost positive. And he tore I him just, apart. the way that they, like, that they did that video though, such a masterclass in how you should do that type of thing. Like it was really good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Well, yeah, you know, um, <laughs> I recommend not, yeah. <laughs> maybe don't recommend, but you know, it's a good one. But Christy, pick again. Uh, one liner. Okay. The court accepts the witness of God. It's about time they accept the existence of the devil. Colin. That was in the devil made me do it. Mm-hmm. Can I get a who? It was, I know it was the, was it, wait, was it, was it the, no, I don't, I don't know. Does anybody know who? Okay, it's Ed. But you still get the one point, so Sweet. pick again. Um, connection. Okay. Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. Rolling Brian, <laughs> correct. Pick again. Connection. Say, Sadie Sink and Dylan O'Brien. They were in a movie together? What movie? Chrissy? The Maze Runner? Incorrect. It's the only Dylan in the movie. I'm gonna call it. It was all too well. The 10 minute version short film. Right. <laughs> yep. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Um, ooh, Me again, right? I mm -hmm. think so. Okay, I'll do a one liner. Okay. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Chrissy. <laughs> Feeny Bell scene in um, Funny Girl. Or um, Lee Michelle. Or Barbara Streisand and Funny Girl, the original. I mean, I'll give it, yes. But yes. Looking for a character name, Fanny Lee Rice. Uh, oh, but Fanny it's Rice. Okay. Yeah, Fanny Rice. Yeah. yeah. You said Feedy Beltsteen. Or Feedy Beltsteen, excuse me. That's fair. Um, but yes, Don't Rain on My Parade. Also, a con iconic song. But um, pick 
a gun. One liner. Gonna, okay, pogies, the throwaway fish, the lowest member of the food chain. Colin. Was that from Outer Banks? Correct. Can I get a who? It was probably said by John B. Correct. <laughs> I'm impressed that you stumbled into that because that was, I would not have known, but pick again. Um, let's do another one liner. Anyway, mm, I can't actually sing this today. Anyway, the wind blows, does it really matter to me? Chrissy. Freddie Mercury, Bohemian Rhapsody. Correct. Lost the melody. I forgot what the melody oh, was in that brief yeah. moment. I know if I had sung it, it probably would have been better, <laughs> but pick again. Connection. Omar Apollo and Frank Ocean. Both R&B singers that came up writing for other people. Highly specific. That's a creative um, answer. Creative. I mean, yeah, like I, I can't tell you you're wrong. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> but like, it's not what we're looking for. Okay. Um, but I think it was mentioned earlier. I think someone mentioned it earlier. So, like, what the connection is. Are uh, they I, dated? Yes. Correct. Okay. There you go. <laughs> all right. And pick again. I will do one liner. Okay. I like some of the Gaga songs. What does she know about cameras? Oh, Kanye West. Correct. Interview about the Polaroid, uh, her being a creative director. <laughs> Correct. Yep. Pick again. Uh, one liner. Never go against the family. Uh, Chris Jenner. Correct. Um, and pick again. One liner. I hope you're hungry for nothing. Hint. This show is on Comedy Central. South Park? Sorry, Colin. I didn't hit the button. You're it, incorrect. Colin. I, I actually don't think the show that I'm thinking of is on Comedy Central. Never Say mind. it anyways. There's no way that's Shane Gillis and Gillian Keeves. There's no, no way. No. Incorrect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it. It is Nathan from Nathan For You. Mm. Brian, pick again. Uh, one liner. Two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. Chrissy. Pretty Little Liars theme song. Correct. That song slaps. Literally. <laughs> Chrissy, pick again. Connection. Both were wrong by Olivia Wilde. Just kidding. Oh. They're both in Don't Worry, Darling. You're correct on that one, <laughs> so we'll just roll with that. Okay. And with that, that also does end round two. So congratulations, Chrissy. You are a winner with 29 points, Colin with 11, and Brian with 13. And we'll be right back with our final round <laughs> for you guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our final round of our episode with our friends from WSOE and Limelight. Congratulations again, Chrissy, on being our winner. Correction, from the end of round two, you have 31 points, not 29. The people in this control room did not catch up quick enough, unfortunately, but nonetheless, you are still unequivocally our winner, so we're gonna get started with our final round. I'm gonna ask you two questions, or a question, and then I'll give you responses. Just tell me yes or no. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So and our first buzzer question. Buzzer or no? No buzzer. Okay. Um, but our first question is, did this song hit number one on the Billboard charts or not? Blank Space by Taylor Swift. Yes. Correct. Toxic by Britney Spears. Yes. Incorrect. Give Me Everything Pitbull. Yes. Correct. Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. Incorrect. What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. Yes. Incorrect. <laughs> Rolling in the Deep by Adele. Yes. Correct. Locked Out of Heaven, Bruno Mars. No. Incorrect. All of Me, John Legend. Yes. Correct. Radioactive, Imagine Dragons. No. Correct. Apologize, One Republic. One Republic. No. Correct. And then our second question is, has this actor ever released music, not just for a movie soundtrack, but like actual like a studio album produced or single? Ryan Reynolds. No. Correct. Michael Sarah. Yes. Correct. Lucy Hale. Yes. Correct. Natalie Portman. No. Correct. Zendaya. Yes. Correct. Benedict Cumberbatch. No. Correct. Jen <laughs> Jeanette McCurdy. Yes. Correct. Andrew Garfield. Mm, yes. Incorrect. Oh. Joe Keery. Yes. Correct. And Jamie Foxx. Yes. Correct. And with that, an even 46 for you, so an even 15, and you did secure your extra prize. Colin and Brian, you are welcome to come back now. And of course, everyone's favorite part of the episode, prizes. <laughs> so today's prizes, we have, first of all, the return of the esteemed waffle maker. She was a hit last week, and she will remain a hit forever in our hearts. The Clueless Party Game. I don't know what this entails, but Live, Laugh, Love, Clueless, the movie. <laughs> A banger of a film. And a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> it's a two, a four by four, by four I guess? Four by two by two. two. So we should figure it out. Two by two? Yeah, because yeah. the regular one's a three by three. Yeah, oh, you're right. Yeah. A two by two. 
And then, Chrissy, your extra prize is the bubbles. Yes! <laughs> so which one would you like? You have first pick. Um, the waffle maker. There you go. Brian, since you are second. I think I'm going to go Rubik's Cube. <laughs> A choice. <laughs> and so, Colin, you get the... <laughs> Clueless party game, Woo! which again, <laughs> gonna be a great time having fun figuring that out, I guess. Yeah. There you go. Party there game about you your go. friends, fashion, you. school crushes, and all things clueless. <laughs> I it's right up your alley, dude. It's totally bugging. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do we feel post game? Great. Awesome. Electric. Well, if you have anything you would like to plug before you all head on out, now is your chance. Do you want to go first? Yeah, you Since won, you won. You go first. Um, I want to plug my weekly show on WSOE. Cold Music Ed. Ooh. Wednesday, like a, 6 to 7 p.m. Can I get a, like a log line for it? Like, what's the vibes? Um, uh, uh, fun, funky throwbacks. Okay. And I will go no further. Okay. All right, so you got to listen. Um, <laughs> Colin and Brian, anything for Limelight? A bunch of stuff. So we got open mic this, this, uh, this Sunday. Well, when's, when's it coming out? Not now. Or not, uh, not in time. I don't think. So, uh, I don't think. Open mic. <laughs> we got open mics going on every month, um, as well as a lot of production team meetings. We got people getting in the studios. Lots of great stuff. Lots of live performances. We have a beat battle coming up as well for producers. Um, we have t-shirts and new merch that's going to be coming out soon as well. Um, stay on the lookout for that and uh, projects that are going to be released and promoted on our Instagram page at Limelight Records. So. Very nice. Well. Thank you all so much for coming on this week, and thank you all for watching at home. We'll be back soon with another episode of Wind Stuff. To find out more about Wind Stuff, visit elonstudenttv.org.